Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. Thank you so much for being here. So you guys have asked for more gaming content and specifically you said, hey, that cool Linux gaming report thing that you're doing with Liam over at uh, Gaming on Linux, more of that. So wish granted. Liam has agreed to make this a monthly thing. So he sends me over the, uh, the script and the voiceover and the footage and I put it all together and I give it to you guys. So a huge thank you to Liam for sharing his love of indie Linux games with all of us. Before I get out of here, I just wanna give a very special thank you to all 85 of my patrons who are supporting the channel and supporting the podcast. And patrons get early access to podcasts and videos. They have an exclusive Telegram group and they get to participate in a monthly live video chat and all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're interested in that, patreon.com slash Linux for everyone. And now I'm going to get out of your hair and hand it over to Liam. Gaming for everyone. I have returned. It's Liam here to talk about another seriously cool indie game. And this time it's a dungeon crawling action RPG. Okay, that's a bit of a mouthful to say. Anyway, it's called Chronicon, and truthfully, I'm a little bit in love with this one. Chronicon has a very crisp 2D pixel art style. It's pretty easy on the eyes, although when the action gets going, it becomes quite the show. To me, Chronicon feels really similar to the first time I got into Diablo 2. In fact, Thinking about it, the atmosphere feels so close, it's actually brilliant. Chronicon is a heavily underrated gem, it's an absolute gem, seriously. You don't need to be an action RPG buff to enjoy it, the game thankfully eases you in very nicely. For players who do regularly sink their teeth into action RPGs though, it's got a huge amount to love about it and the later levels become absolutely insane. It's got a ridiculous feature list as well. Four unique classes to play through, all of them have very different skill sets. Local co-op support so you can take a partner along for the ride, hundreds of items and there's even a little crafting. One of the other bigger features is that Chronicon has practically infinite character progression. Once you level up enough, you can then go through special mastery ranks and there's randomly generated dungeons. So you can just keep on going and battling. I can't really overstate just how much there is in this little game. Some players I've seen have over 100 hours in it and a lot of people have well into the tens. And that's quite telling. To pat myself on the back a little bit here too, I did help the developer on this one sorting out their Linux build, making sure the launching script and the dependencies were all sorted out, and now it runs very nicely. For the price, Chronicon is ridiculously good. It's currently under $10, about seven British pounds, and honestly, I've spent a lot more than that on terrible movies. Chronicon is so worth the price. It's currently in early access, although it is coming finally for a full release this year. If you love a good 2D action RPG that will leave you with loot coming out of basically anything you can turn into a pocket, then you owe yourself to try it. I've had a massive amount of fun with Chronicon and I think you will too.